often ask what difference it makes if a document is accessible, or they say they know that there is no one with a disability that will be receiving their content. There are no guarantees. Documents are often shared among others. You don't want an inaccessible document attributed to your name or your company. Additionally, many accessibility features actually benefit and improve the reading experience for everyone. Today we want to simulate what someone who uses a specific type of assistive technology, a screen reader, encounters when they access a poorly structured document. Then we'll show you what their experience is like once the document has been made accessible. Keep in mind that screen readers are just one type of assistive technology. There are many different types of disabilities and subsequently many varying technologies for people to use and experience content. In this video, Cami, one of our Section 508 specialists, is going to walk you through two scenarios to demonstrate the impact of creating accessible materials. First, take a look at this PDF. We have colored large text, graphics, a process flow, lists, and link text. What else do you see? Now we're going to simulate using a screen reader by covering up the document. This is how someone using a screen reader would experience it. Interacting with kids. Kids could be of any age. Sing a song. All the kids' horses and all the kids' men could put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall semicolon. Have a treat. Select a graphic item. Bullet French graphic fries. Bullet ice graphic cream. Enjoy the graphic flavor. Travel to graphic McDonald's. Activities of play. Try some of these colon. Play a board game. Make a paper plate mask. Go to the park. Send us an email to get more great ideas. Graphic logo dot jpg. Was that what you expected to hear? Was all the content read? Clearly this page was not created in an accessible manner. Now let's listen to how the screen reader interprets the content now that we've remediated the document. Graphic ABC Interactive Logo. Headache Level 1 Interacting with Kids. Kids can be of any age. Headache Level 2 Sing a Song. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall semicolon. All the kids' horses and all the kids' men could put Humpty together again. Headache Level 2 Have a Treat. Graphic Acquiring a Treat Process. See next page for full description. Headache Level 2 Activities and Play. Try some of these colon. List of three items. Start bullet play a board game. Start bullet make a paper plate mask. Start bullet go to the park. List end. Send us a link email to get more great ideas. You should have noticed that the screen reader said heading before the colored phrases. The graphic had a meaningful description and was read in the proper order at the top of the page. The column content was read in the proper order. There was a list that included the number of total items. A link was indicated so that we can activate it with the keyboard. And our process flow had a brief description but indicated that there's a long description available. So that you can review one method of handling complex graphics, we're going to show you one example of how to handle the graphic in this document. Headache level 2 acquiring the treat process. List of three items. 1. Dot travel to McDonald's. 2. Dot select an item. List of two items. Nesting level 1. A dot French fries. B. Dot ice cream. List and nesting level 1. Three dot enjoy the flavor. A numbered list structure was used to show order, and a sublist helps identify the hierarchy of the content. Hopefully you can see how important it is to structure your content. This kind of structure can be applied to all Office documents and PDFs. Moving along to the next scenario, we also want to show you the impact of not providing the proper reading order in PowerPoint. That is one of the most common issues found in PowerPoint. Study this slide. You can see that we have a graphic, title text, a list, and a process flow. Now let's listen to how the screen reader reads the content. College. Browse genres. Office supplies. Check dash out book. Pick a book. Get library card. Reference points. Using the library. National Clearinghouse of Rehabilitation Training Materials logo. 
office stores, bullet stables, bullet office bags. Well, that seemed out of order. Now, let's try that again, now that we've remediated the slide. Knowledge, office supplies, reference points, office stores, bullet stables, bullet office bags. Using the library first, get a library card. Secondly, pick a book by browsing genres. Lastly, check dash out the book. National Clearinghouse of Rehabilitation Training Materials logo. As you could hear, the content was read from left to right, top to bottom, and it was logical in the order intended by the author. We hope this provides you with a good overview of how some users of assistive technology experience content. Be sure to view our other videos from our Community of Practice, Section 508, Frustrations and Fixes.